to huge storms in just 10 days. Nightmare scenario that is now the brutal reality for thousands of people in the Mideast. There is a nor'easter that has hammered areas that are still recovering from the storm, the superstorm Sandy. It has buried parts of Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York under heavy, heavy snow. Thousands of people who just got the power back on once again, now without power, in bone-chilling temperatures. Deborah Ferrett, she is talking to folks in Brooklyn, uh, right across uh, the water from the Breezy Point, Queens. Uh, Deb, how are, how are folks coping? Yeah, well, uh, frankly, folks aren't coping all that well. They've been doing the best they can. They're running on adrenaline right now, but their patience is really running thin. You have to imagine, these cars all here, they were covered with water when uh, when the hurricane hit. And then, uh, now, with the snow, it's become even worse because it is just so cold. The homes, water inside all of them, and so they are now damp. They're developing mold, and people really just don't know which way to turn. Uh, over here, you see somebody delivered a light. Uh, this is the relief center by the volunteer fire department uh, and if it were not for this really a lot of these people would have given up hope a long time ago but the relief center has been uh, handing out food has been gathering clothing what the people here in Garrison Beach say is they don't have enough help from FEMA or from the Red Cross or from insurance companies and other officials that they desperately desperately need about 2,000 families here I'm joined right now by Kathy Ina and tell me do you feel that you're getting all the help you need no we need more help here we need electrical boxes and and we need electricians to come in and to replace all the submerged electrical equipment of the homes. We can't get our electricity turned back on until all that's replaced. And we're waiting for FEMA to come and help us and give us money. So in the meantime, we need donations. When you look at everything that's happening here, do you feel that other parts of the city were handled much better, perhaps, than Garrison Beach? I, I, I think that Garrison Beach should have been evacuated. We're zone B, but we're right on the water's edge. We're a little tiny peninsula right behind Breezy Point. The, the entire little peninsula is surrounded by water, and everybody was flooded out. My house had four feet of water in it and I evacuated. Do you feel that it was an oversight on some levels? Because again, we're, we're looking for the electricians, we don't see any here. Um, we're looking for sort of FEMA, we've seen one person in a jacket, but for the most part, it seems like everybody's sort of doing it on their own and, and getting frustrated. Uh, I, I believe that they've forgotten about us. We're a small community and nobody has really come down here and publicized our plight. Uh, it's a working class neighborhood. We don't have a lot of people out there advocating for us, so we're trying to do everything ourselves. Uh, the Garrison Beach Fire Department has been great. It's a volunteer organization. They have a relief center for the people here, but the people need shelter. People's homes have no electricity. They have no heat. Many homes are still flooded. People don't want to leave their homes, and even if they wanted to, we don't have transportation because the cars were flooded as well. So we need some kind of shelter down here. Okay, Kathy, you know, thank you very much. And, and that's what they're trying to do. We spoke to the state senator earlier today, and that's what he said. He said, look, there's there's plenty of room. Bring some FEMA shelters. Bring some FEMA trailers down here. Um, but folks like Kathy and other folks really, you know, we spoke to one man, and he broke down. Another man saying, we're suffering, we're suffering. And that's the message that they're trying to get out. They don't understand why it's taken more than 10 days to get even basic services. They're not even close to getting electricity, Suzanne. And uh, the state senator said, if they don't do it quickly, they're not going to get it till Christmas. That is a tough, tough way to go. Um, it, 